day. Sarah here welcome back to my channel in this video I'm doing hated K-pop songs I like. It's all my personal opinion and you guys are not 5 years old so I don't need to spend time on a disclaimer onto the first song. After Like is a very I've song. You know it's them just by hearing it. I liked how the bass concept was retro disco. That shows because of the sample they used. But I was not too overwhelmed with it because they showed some elegant movie star themes that highlighted them well. Liz's vocals were sweet to my ear. She carries the pre-chorus. Ray and Giles rap was fit at the right moment and surprisingly flowed really well. I'm actually a huge fan of the song starting rapidly and quick with Ray in the first verse. It grabs my attention and I'm sure that was the intention. From when it was released I saw mixed opinions. Some people calling it bland. Is it love dive level? Personally I don't think so. But it's still catchy enough and everyone had a part to shine. In the music video and song. I'm extremely happy with this comeback. They ate with my satisfaction as well so I think this release deserves an 8 out of 10. Personally I don't think it deserves to be hated on. Even YouTube enjoys it. But it's all personal preference. Some of y'all were saying that money was better than Lalisa, and me too. I may or may not have been in that gang too, but honestly it's not half as bad as it's been perceived. The raps are poorly written and cringy but the parts where she was singing were catchy. Say you've never thought of the chorus even one time. Exactly. I feel like we set our expectations way too high for Blackpink only to be surprised when we are disappointed. Lalisa isn't something I would voluntarily listen to, but I wouldn't hate it if it came up. It didn't get as annoying as money did. Sorry not sorry. I'll give Lalisa a 6.5 out of 10. When I think of Espa I think of girls. The concept is exactly Espa and the brand that they have built up. I feel like Girls as a title track was overlooked and overshadowed by other tracks such as Illusion. Which actually feels like the title track for the album and probably should have been. I can understand where the hate for Girls comes from. The song gets boring at times and the choreography is awkward and stiff. Please let Kerina show off the years of dance classes. There's no memorable part either. All I got from the song was that the Black Mambo is back even though I'm pretty sure they slayed that beast in Savage. What can I say? The whole cyber action concept isn't really my favorite but I can get past it if the music is good. And Girls is such a catchy song. It's getting a 7 out of 10. <laughs> I got into Weekly when they were promoting Zigzag, before After School was released. I fell in love with their concept because it was youthful and fun. After School was an addiction. They gained so many new listeners during that era. It was a great era honestly. And After School was a bop but then it was time for the highly anticipated comeback. Holiday Party was released and everyone just dipped like that. I also kind of lost interest during this era. Holiday Party was not a bad release. It was fun and it suited Weekly well. They looked like they had an extremely good time performing as well. So what's the problem? I guess people just found it to be a downgrade. I don't hate this song. There's nothing spectacular about it either. But it's just fun. And I enjoy fun concepts. So I can get into the gist of it. It's not as good as their other releases like Zigzag and even Tag Me. But the vision was there. And now because people dipped we are stuck with Ven Para and Girl Crush. Weekly are very versatile to be honest. They didn't do bad in this comeback. But their older songs are superior. I do fully understand why this song is hated but I enjoy it once in a while. I'll give it a 5.5 out of 10. I really just don't take this song seriously at all and I think that was the intention. The chorus is stuck in my mind. I just find it to be a fun song that I enjoy and find catchy. I'm not even into Psy and his music and will never be. But I can see why this song went viral I guess. Similar to Lalisa I'll have to be in the mood to listen to it. I mostly like this song because of the choreography. It's groovy. Makes me want to dance. I feel like I'm being harsh with my rankings even though I like the song. It's still screaming 6 out of 10 as it's definitely not my favorite on the list. Frankly I've never actually hated this song. I never understood why at the time of release so many people were calling this song boring. People just want to hate on any new group as soon as they debut just to make their faves look better. We saw it with new jeans. Nmixx. 
Ive and others. I enjoyed the minimalistic concept in Fearless as it got me to really focus on the music and their voices because they can sing and perform really well. Also that EP was a fucking masterpiece. It's one of my favorite K-pop albums to date. The B-sides were tasteful and all have a significant flair to them that makes them stand out. I honestly can't pick a favorite track on the album as they're all good, but The Great Mermaid and Sour Grapes stand out to me the most. I like how the songs are about confidence but they're not all up in your face. That's what I like. Seraphim for the win. 10 out of 10 name song and choreography. Let me know what kind of videos you would like to see next. Thanks for watching this one bye. Matter what? <laughs>